So, I've been asked to go to the uh, Rome Formula E race, and they said, Colin, why don't you bring one of your vehicles? But I thought to myself, I haven't really got any electric vehicles to take, other than the Mr. Bean chair. <laughs> now, that's hardly a picture of performance, is it? And Formula E have asked me to do something, you know? The world's first fully electric racing series. They're pushing electric motors and battery technology to the limits. So, if they can make motorsport electric, what can I make electric that used to have a motor in it? Like my drift drive! So, here we have my drift drive. This thing is absolutely perfect. Now, we could look at this and say that this is the Formula One version. It has an engine. Now, what I'm gonna basically do is copy this exactly, the design, because it is perfect, it is not improvable at all. And rather than have a petrol engine, we're gonna have this. Components check, been to the tip, got a load of BMXs, because we need the front of a BMX. We've essentially now got the uh, rear axle off a go-kart, and then we've got our motor. Now, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the right motor. This is like a really big drone motor but the race is this weekend and I already had this, so we're gonna use it. Batteries, ESC, chain, sprockets, cable, throttle control thing, all the bits for the rear axle. Measure the other one, make the frame, add all the wheels, it's basically just build it, Colin. I choose this one. Right, that's got everything we need from the BMX. Basically, all we need is the down tube, the forks, the handlebars, and the stem. Next thing we need to do is just make the little boxy bit which comes off here. So I shall measure the other one and then shove the back axle in. And then, well, I mean, <laughs> you're nearly there. the axle together temporarily so I can put this on here now beautiful that's really good you see because if you ever want to get the axle off afterwards it just comes out the back forward thinking first then we get this oh wait a minute we ain't got the front wheel in have we now you can go on that's a bit more like it I just need you to stay there now might be a oh God. About right. <laughs> clampy, clampy. Mm. Oh, look at it. Mm. Oh, yeah. I do love a drift drive. <laughs> Right, that's got the chassis all done. Now, I've not fixed the seat down. That'll sit on top there when it does, because I'm kind of thinking, it's kind of a Formula A. And this does not look like the cutting edge of technology, does it? No, so I want to get something a little bit different. Motor mounting, that's next. That's going to sit down there like that. It can go in there. We've got a bit of adjustment on the old sprocket. That's going to sit on the back there like that. Sprocket on there, sprocket on there. Ving, 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 ving. And then get the ESC and mount that round the back. Get the axle trimmed down as well, because that's all too long at the moment. Put some spaces in. Yes! <laughs>
that's got the electric motor mounted. We've got the ESC mounted. Happy with that. Chain, sprocket, rear axle, all looking good. Next thing we need, we need some batteries. We could shove them along here. I'd quite like to leave this free. Just make it look a bit more streamlined. If I put them over here somewhere. Try and work out a nice, neat way that they can go under there. Maybe, maybe I'll put a little cowl in front of it so it all looks nice and, uh, and futuristic. And then it'll all get two up, set fire to itself, and it'll be right underneath my bum. Win! Right, mechanically, it's kind of nearly finished. I'm just waiting for components now. I've got a couple of things to do on the electronics. I've still got my wonderful seat I've ordered. Uh, so I'm going to strip the paint, just do a couple of other little jobs, and then when they turn up, we'll whack them on and see if it works. <laughs> The seat has arrived. What a booty! It's a damn sight better than the old tractor seat. Formula E, I hope you approve. Is it lightweight and made of carbon fiber? No, so maybe they won't, Colin. Okay, I've rigged it up to the RC so we can spin the motor up and see how much power it's got. Okay, okay, well it works. Well, that didn't sound very good. It's chain making that horrible noise. Right, what if I put you on the floor? <laughs> oh, fish. No, 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 no. <laughs> ESC is hot. That is bad. I don't think this is the right motor. It ain't got any torque. Think I better do a bit of interneting. <laughs> okay. This didn't work. Spins really fast, not got enough torque. We could alter the gear in, but it won't even move the thing without me sitting on it. So just a couple of sprocket changes is not gonna solve that problem. So, scoured the internet and an eight hour long journey, I've got this. <sighs> this is a Lynch motor and apparently this has the same power as a Mini. Hmm, well that's definitely gonna be powerful enough. We may have other problems because obviously this is a bit bigger, so I've gotta fit it in somewhere, but also, this was the ESC that controlled the first one, and this is the ESC that controls that one. So we're gonna put this somewhere. The connections look like they could feed the national grid, uh, which leads me to think, are my batteries gonna be up to this? Now you can program this apparently, and you can restrict how many amps go into the motor, restrict all sorts of things. So it's quite, you know, you can play around with it quite a bit. So hopefully we will be able to tune it to what we've got. Now whether then it will be powerful enough, I don't know. Right, so essentially I've got to remount all this. Uh, I'm not going to film that quite as well as I did before because I haven't got time, because I'm running out. Right, here we go. Is this gonna work? Okay, plug the batteries in. Switch you on. Got a green light, so in theory. 
Good. Is it going to actually move when it's on the floor? Oh, beautiful! Let's whack a seat, have a little go outside. Yeah. Uh, well, I do apologise for uh, quite a lot of this video of being how to make it the wrong way, but you know, you like to see my uh, learning experience. You've got to see the trial and error of these things, Colin! Ah, that's better. Now, of course, there are still lots of questions with this. How long are the batteries going to last? How fast will it go? Will it be quicker than the petrol version? Now, luckily, we've got the advantage. We can plug the laptop in it and we can change all sorts of little parameters and have a little fiddle around. Probably very much like a Formula E car. Remember, that's what we're doing this for. Now, you can go and check out their channel. You can see all the races live on YouTube. You can see all the races that have happened on YouTube. It's all there. Go and have a look. Subscribe. It's great racing. It's really close and very unpredictable as well. So then, don't miss the next video, because you want to see this fin in action, I want to see it in action, and I've got to get it to Rome! How am I going to put it on a plane? Ugh. <laughs>